You look at retail sales, which includes bars and restaurants, and it's falling. So here we are, we go through COVID and now we're not going to bars and restaurants? I mean, WTF, that's ridiculous. It's more important for me what my clients say about me than myself. My reviews are video reviews. Um, when I go to my clients and hand them the key, I put it on my story and it's deep. My reviews are deep because I'm deep. You know, I just had to be the most knowledgeable person and I had to ensure the clients, whether it's a high net worth individual or an athlete, that I was going to look out for them and that I would not allow them to lose money. You need to continue to be in perpetual motion with your business. You need to be an action taker and, and I'm thrilled to see all the action takers in the audience today. Alright, who's fired up for a big day? Huh? Who's fired up for a big day? Half of being successful is just showing up. Everybody showed up here today is serious about their business, serious about growing it, and serious about making sure that they grow through this market shift. Don't leave without a contract. Once you leave their home, that's the highest they think of you. I, I don't care how great your listing presentation is. That's the max. Right? We call them outside forces, start to bring that number down a little bit followers versus engagement. Because it's more important that you're working the people you already have. Pay attention to the ones that you do have in your Instagram right now that are following you, and let's get that engagement up. We have a very hard time believing what we hear, but we do believe what we see. So when you're dealing with a client, you can't just say it, you also have to show it. The housing market's gonna crash, it's gonna be like 08 all over again, really? Does this look like 08 to you? Look at 08, 2007, 145,000 homes listed for sale. Look at these three years. That's what tipped the market over. I would recommend you guys write everything you do in one week and then break it down. And if it's not on my calendar, it's not happening. Be your person in your community and they're gonna gravitate towards that. And they're gonna understand that you know your market you're hyper-local, you understand, and as much as you post on social media, you're gonna start getting referrals. Go to those events, but to go alone. Don't go with the friend that's sitting to the left or the right of you right now, because if you go alone, you're going to be forced to, get uncom to, be, to be uncomfortable. You're gonna look like more of an idiot if you're not talking to anyone. <laughs> so you go and you start having conversations, introduce yourselves bring business cards. People still want business cards. I always have 50 in my pocket at all times. I wasn't building meaningful relationships, long-lasting relationships, and if you do not do that, you're never going to get referral business and elevate your business. But if you're doing the right things and you're doing them consistently, you'll find that people will come back to you. You walk into a store now, chances are you can get what it is that you want. You want something, you can get it, right? That means prices aren't going to go up so much. It's when you can't get what you want. Oh, ho, ho. then the price goes crazy. You can guide decision making dice and throw it and be just as good as these expert economists because no one knows the friggin' future. That's the problem. If they knew the future, we wouldn't have a housing, we wouldn't have a business cycle. But they get interest rates wrong and therefore we have business cycles and that leads to, and that's why we have recessions. It's just because of mistakes, purely because of mistakes. Figure out what their motivation and goals are right away. Selling a home quickly used to be cool, right? It used to be like, oh, I sold it in four minutes. I sold it in eight minutes. What if they're selling and buying? Do you think you're adding to their fears of being a wannabe seller or making them easier? I love to say, don't post and ghost. You should be engaging within your own content. You also want to go in and like other people's photos. It kind of sounds like just being a human being on social media, right? You also want to slide into those DMs. So get in front of the camera and don't let anyone else's feelings about you, or really it's what you think their feelings are about you. In 2005, we had a credit bubble. Who has a dog in this, in this room? Dog? I bet your dog was getting credit card offers in 2005. <laughs> My daughter was nine. She was getting credit card offers, right? Don't let that stop you from hitting your goals this year. I'm predicting we're going to go down to four and a half million homes, but think about that. Four and a half million homes. That's a lot of homes. 
So anybody that's down on the dumps or they're not going to be enough homes to sell, there's going to be plenty of homes to sell. The question is, are they going to sell with you or are they going to sell with you or you and you? And based on what you do every day, we'll answer that question. When a buyer says to you, I'm going to wait until the market crashes, my first question is, well, what do you mean by crash? Because remember, buyers confuse home sales and home prices. Two totally separate things. Benefits of home ownership. You have to get back to explaining other benefits to home ownership. Because number three on this list, asset growth, or you could call it equity growth. That one is the one that everybody was so excited about for three years because if they closed on a house today, six months from now it was worth 10% more. And that, folks, is how the market got screwed up. But I have the same amount of minutes in a day as all of you. And some of you look at me like, how does this guy do this all? How about Elon Musk? I'm not doing shit compared to that guy. A coach and friend that I've known for a long time says, little hinges swing big doors. Big doors. Focus on the things that matter. Focus on getting your schedule so that you're not getting eaten alive doing stupid shit. You go sell a $2 million house, you make a nice commission, life is good, you're happy, and life is fine. But you sell a $400,000 house, you change someone's life. You make money on the good deals, but you change people's life at the low end. Don't forget that. You do a great service to America. You help people get into homes. It's a wonderful, amazing thing. For people who don't have a home, you have no idea what it means to get a home. These people, they cry. Keep doing what you're doing. One loan, one sale of a house with a loan officer, a good one, at a time, and you make the world a better place.